And hello, everyone, and welcome back to Conversations Live radio station at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, as well as through our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music, as well as Cyrus Webb Presents. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. We're doing double duty for both our radio show as well as our web series today with a very special guest. We're excited to welcome director Ellen Frankenstein to our broadcast today. She's celebrating her film, Cruise Boom, coming to PBS this month. We're going to talk to her more about that, but also about her journey as a filmmaker. Now, I've had a chance to watch Chris Boom for, for myself, and as someone who does a lot of travel, it really is fascinating to be able to get the, 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 the perspective of the cities that are visited, and this one particular one, a city I've never heard of before uh, that's in Alaska. We're going to talk to Ellen what it's like for her to be able to hear from the people who live there, but also the impact of tourism on the residents as well. If you guys are just finding out about Ellen, I will let you guys know how to stay connected with her. But Ellen, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. I'm honored that you wanted to talk with me and you watched Cruise Boom. <laughs> well, look, I really enjoyed it. I had never heard of Sitka before. So now I can talk to people about Sitka. Uh, Ellen, and it was so interesting to me when this, when your conversation was pitched to me initially, I was fascinated as someone who does a lot of travel every month uh, for, for my work. And I think to myself, a lot of times we don't always think about the impact of travel and tourism on cities. What has it been like for you? Let's start there. What has it been like for you to be a part of that conversation, Ellen, of, of what happens when so many people are coming to a town and there's supposed success in that industry? Well, it's interesting because the film follows um, the community realizing we're going to hit a new boom. We've had tourism in Alaska for a long time. But we had a um, we kept putting down public docks here, and then a local businessman um, expanded what was the fishing boat haul out into a, a dock for cruise ships, and it led to a boom. And he he did that expansion with the help of um, Royal Caribbean, and so I was prodded to make this film because um, to document the community going through change because it has been a big change. Uh, to double the amount of people visiting in the summer. Yeah. It's just been I, a lot for the community. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Ellen, to that point, I think this is where I think, it, and when I was watching the film, I, it, it really, and that's why I encourage everyone, as I mentioned, it's coming to PBS this month, definitely watch it because I think a lot of times, you know, we, we heard about, you know, how even with the best of intentions, there can be a, a negative consequence. Your film really shows that because on one hand, you would think for a city, for a, you know, for a place, it's great, you know, for the economy uh, when people come in, right? But then of the, course. What, you, what you allow us to see, though, is that that doesn't always take into account the people who have to live there every day <laughs> and have to deal with the consequences of that. So I guess the obvious question would be, what led you to want to say, this is a story I wanted to tell? Um, I got to say some people provoked me to do it. Tour, this is not a topic. I've made films for years and I've made films about teenagers, about grief and healing, a lot of um, collaborations with indigenous groups and people. And and so this was not a topic. I find it tricky to talk about things related to the economy. It's very complex because um, we always we kind of have this growth mentality in life. Like we got to have more yeah. grow, grow, grow. And uh so this was a really, I was provoked and then it was kind of a struggle. I had a lovely um, co-producer, uh, Atman Mehta, who's now getting his PhD in economic history at the University of Chicago. And he was excited as an outsider to collaborate on the film with me. And it was it was really fun. I, the great thing about films is the kind of long process and the collaboration. And so we ended up with Cruise Boom. Love that. We're going to talk more about that and remind our audience how they can see it. Ellen, but you mentioned about, you know, other work you've done. So let's go backwards for those who are just now finding out about you and your work. What was it about storytelling through film, Ellen, that spoke to you? Well, I started out doing a lot of documentary still work back in the days of dark rooms. I ran around with an old um, Roloflex. And then I wanted to add, um, voices and sound and and scenes and so i was drawn to documentary filmmaking as a way to talk about things that don't always get talked about and and i think a lot i always say that documentary filmmaking i'm not an expert in anything you're just rearranging what's out there and reconfiguring it to create conversation and i love generating conversation with films 
Love that. Hello to you, Leon Pitts. Good to be to see you there in Florida on the Instagram side. As I mentioned, we are simulcasting our broadcast. So see you guys over there on X as well. If you guys have any questions uh, or comments for Ellen, make sure you guys do put those in the chat. I'll be glad to bring those up so we can talk about them. And that brings us to this part, which is why I'm so glad you're here, Ellen. And that are, are, are the conversations. It's one thing to love what you do as a filmmaker. What has it been like for you to see the emotions and the conversations that have come from your work? With all the work or with different people, this, this film is hard, uh, was fascinating. We actually showed the rough cut to the entire community, which is something mm -hmm. I've never done before. And mm -hmm. that was super emotional because, you know, change is hard. And whether it's good or bad, right? when the place you live changes, you're witnessing kind of possibility, but also loss. Mm -hmm. So it can be super emotional. But I've also made films that brought up things like self-mutilation and suicide and substance abuse and really emotional topics. So uh, I just always like to do it in a way that there's people in the room to help facilitate the conversation and to realize the film is just the start. It's not the end of anything. And my hope is that some scene, some image, some part of the film will resonate with people. And I think that's definitely something that has happened. Uh, and, and you mentioned the emotion. It, it, and even though that can be something, as you mentioned, change is not easy. That has to be a good feeling, though, Ellen, right? To know that something you create is able to spark that type of feeling. It's great. And I think another thing about documentary filmmaking that's so amazing is that you kind of get to lift the hood. And when, while I know nothing about tourism and, again, was not drawn to make this film, I love the joy of the people who work in tourism. They love what they do. And the, and the people who get to travel, they haven't seen whales, bears and eagles like we get to see them living in Alaska. And that's joyful. But there are these questions in this case about what is the cruise ship industry? Is it an industry and the way we work with it? Is it good for the environment? Um, is it turning our town into a caricature? Um, is it no longer? I love that one of the students who saw it wrote, I give these little feedback forms, said, how can you be authentic when you're kind of in a performance mode? We also have in the film, we have a segment about um, indigenous tourism. Yeah. And there's that question of like, um, again, how do you share your culture, but not kind of dilute it and which parts of your culture do you share and i think that again is what makes it so powerful uh, ellen would you would you like for us to share the uh, trailer with our audience oh please go for it i, I want to talk about what that experience has been like because that's of course is how i found out about cruise boom i, I heard from um from your publicist about it coming i mean how does it feel to know that you're going to have that platform to be able to share not only the people of Sitka, but also the message of Cruise Boom when it comes to these important questions about tourism and community. Well, I, again, I always say there's not a lot of um, financial gain from these projects, but I'm all about the eyeballs. Um, yeah. Again, I like seeing what the story, how it resonates with people, what kind of questions it creates for them. I mean, some folks have seen the film, don't think about how they travel. Some lots of folks do. Uh, the film includes a little bit of critique and digging into how the cruise industry works and that they're registered offshore. And for a lot of people, they don't know that or that the labor practices, you know, what they're like. And we just hint about a lot of things and asking the questions again about environmental impacts and all those type of issues. So it's exciting. But it also feels overwhelming because, you know, film is only like a fragment of a, a much deeper reality. Right. Even in that trailer, though, hello to you, Tanya White. Good to be to see you joining us there in Indiana. Um, Leon says, uh, it, it, this is goes to the point. Leon, who was in Florida joining us on Instagram, says, I would like to visit. Uh, and, and I think that is the that's the thing here. And I think that's what when and that the trailer piqued my interest. But actually seeing the film and seeing the community come together to express their concerns but also I think the impact, good, what some would could say good and bad. And this is where it does get tricky though, Ellen, because I think when, depending on how you feel about tourism, depending on how you feel about the impact of, of you know, of tourism on the economy for the good or bad, um, will kind of ultimately determine how you feel about this film, right? 
I think so. I mean, I think this is a type of topic that's unlike some of the other topics I've made films about that where some folks will say that is a super balanced film and other people will say it's negative because it questions something that does help. You know, since this cruise boom, we have new small businesses, we have food trucks, we have new tour businesses. Uh, there's a lot of energy. Um, there's We're getting more sales tax. So you can argue, and all of that is true, but as someone who is helping me kind of organize screening says, there can be multiple truths at the same time. Yes. And it's okay. And I think one of the repeated refrains, it almost is like a hammer hitting in people's heads, is that we need to have dialogues and communities need to have conversations. And when you ask a question, you're not a critic. You're thinking about your community and how is, can it be a place that's livable for everybody? Yeah, I think that is it, right? I think that is the big thing from this. Uh, so with that being said, and with the way we built this conversation, and I really love the way it's kind of organically formed itself, Ellen, what did you leave the film with as the filmmaker? <laughs> what, what, what did you leave it with? Uh, well, I think I've made a series of films that end on question marks. Okay. You know how narratives usually end and like, you know, the, there's love and rainbows or whatever it is and happily ever after. Um, I mean, I, I was struck with this deep kind of almost pain of not really having answers and left with my own ambivalence about travel. <laughs> like, I feel like more reluctant about traveling or and even though I, too, enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those are two things. Yeah, it, it, it is one of those powerful things. Now, let me tell you the other big impact for me as a viewer, though. Uh, and even though, you know, watching it, and I'm so glad I got a chance to see it before this conversation, what I thought about was that this could be any place USA in many ways. Because we all are wrestling with, I think about the city where I live, there is a big push right now for bringing, you know, bringing in, of course, as you mentioned, the dollars. You know, being able to bring in, you know, the, you know, the um, people from the outside to be able to build up that art community, especially when it comes to concerts in my city. That's we have a, a large amphitheater that's recently been built. And so that's been one of the conversations. So when I watched Cruise Boom, I thought about in Brandon, Mississippi, where I live outside of Jackson, how citizens have had that same thing about the traffic, you know, the people yep. coming in and the impact of that when you have, you know, these big bands and you know individuals coming into town is that what you hope also we're able to localize this in some way yeah, as yeah. we kind of think about our own lives totally and i've heard brandon's an amazing place um yes to think about our own lives because as i mentioned uh a student from university of san francisco saw the student and compared it saw the film and compared it to uh elon musk moving into her town in brownsville texas someone else talked about hospitals merging um and th that impact in their in their community outside new york so i think it's both tourism and it's thinking about our relationship to kind of economic growth and kind of these these things that move into our communities yeah Love that bring possibility but also i think we have to keep asking these questions is this good how is everything trickling down how is it one of the things the film brings up and we all know this issue housing like you know yeah. independent travelers use you know stay in short-term rentals we're having housing crises because so many more people are in town so you know there's all these other issues right such a great point. Uh, Cheryl, hello to you over on IG. Leon brings up a, a good point, too, that go with along with our conversation here. Um, Ellen, he says, I would like to visit. I agree that it should stay in its original state so that people can experience this national community. Uh, I, he gets that one would, of course, like, of course, to have the original, uh, you know, landmarks and everything there. And I think that's the thing to appreciate. Because, again, Ellen, as I mentioned, I would never have heard of Sitka if it had not been for this film. So in that way, I think it is educating people about a place that many of us here in Mississippi have never heard of before, right? But I think it also, in, in the point I was trying to make earlier, makes us think about our own habits yeah. Yeah. Uh, and our own place and the impact we're having on others, right? And I think that's the, the great thing about a film like this. Yeah, yeah, and but, but we're not not gonna have impacts. I made another fun and serious film called Eating Alaska about being a vegetarian in Alaska, trying to figure out what to eat, and it brings up all these things. And I love, I do like our by existing, we're gonna have impacts. We can't sure. not. 
but um, how to do that well. Uh, I mean, I don't have the answers, but I do think uh, there is that thing of like, do you try to support the local businesses? Do you um, choose when you go to a place? Do you try to go to places that aren't being over toured? Because we know if you look in the news, Barcelona, Amsterdam, Greece, uh, places, other places in the U.S., there's a lot of pushback right now about like, oop, too many people are here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that's it. Appreciate you guys over there on X. If you guys have any questions or comments on X, please let us know. Again, Ellen, so glad we had a chance to talk. So glad we've had this conversation. Again, the film is called Cruise Boom. It is going to be premiering on PBS this month. It also will be on PBS.org as well. So make sure you guys look out for that starting on September the 14th. Um, Ellen, for our audience out there, how can they stay connected with you and kind of keep up with the updates about the film and other work you're doing? Well, for one thing, you can also find the film if you go to public libraries on Canopy, and you can find some other films that I've collaborated on on Canopy. Um, you can follow us on Instagram, Cruise Boom Film. You can find us on Facebook under it's under Art Change or under um, 14 Miles Alaska. Uh, I also did this fun series called 14 Miles Alaska, uh, 14 Miles, all about 37 short films about Sitka. If you happen to show up in town, Try to contact me. My name is Ellen Frankenstein. And one last thing I want to say about the film, I wanted yeah. people to feel torn. I wanted them to see the beauty, but also feel conflicted. So if, if I could succeed in doing that, let me know. Love that. Love that. I think you think you've achieved that. I, and even like I said, as someone who travels monthly for work, you know, I go to a lot of places. And I think, again, most of us, and I can speak for myself personally here, but I think other people feel the same way. We just think about what we want to do, where we want to go, what we want to see. We don't think yeah. about the impact of the people that are already there. Uh, and I know I don't. <laughs> I just I, I just go where I want to go. You know, I mean, that's just the truth. We, we don't yeah. think about I wonder what the citizens are going to think about, <laughs> you know, all of these people, you know, coming in. And, you know, we just walk into restaurants and stuff that, you know, we, we don't think about that. Um, and, and I think this film does allow us to see the perspective of the people who inhabit the places that we visit, you know, and, yeah. and to get their perspective. And I think that's been missing. So thank you so much for that. Well, I really appreciate having the conversation. Yeah, but look, the pleasure's definitely been all mine. And we thank your audience for joining us on the radio dial at WYAD 94.1 FM, WYADonline.com, as well as through iHeartRadio and Amazon Music, as well as those simulcasting for Cyrus Web Presents at Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, X. And Ellen, it goes without saying, you're welcome back here anytime. Well, thank you so much. It's been it's been a pleasure. And uh um take care, everyone who's listening, and travel well and uh and again, Cruise Boom will be streaming on PBS.org. You can it'll be on individual stations. You can ask your station to play it. Uh, and thanks for for watching. And I always appreciate eyeballs on on the films that I get to make. Yeah, it's our pleasure as well. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live and Cyrus Webb presents. Until next time, you all make it a great one. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. <laughs>